In Albany today, it's all about rent control. The state legislature approving new protections for more than a million people living in New York City apartments. Rent control has been around for a long time in the city, but this time around, legislators are looking at a way to bring that option upstate. Karina Capabianca tells us how local renters could see changes. Tenants from downstate New York have fought for stronger rent regulations for years. And a multi-part piece of legislation will have impacts for upstate New York as well. Senator Rachel May says statewide there will be stronger tenant protections. We heard from a lot of people about being evicted, um, not being able to even feel like they could report a code violation on their their rental property because they were afraid that they might get evicted. The changes that we've made, the, the protections for tenants are really shifting the balance toward understanding that we want people to feel stable in their homes. Another statewide provision deals with manufactured homes. The people own the homes, but they rent the property underneath them, and that gives the the landlords of the, those properties a lot of leverage over the home owners. There will also be an opportunity for local legislative bodies of an upstate city, town, or village to opt into a rent stabilization plan, but they'd have to meet very specific vacancy and building requirements. Opponents of the legislation say the issue should be left to the free market. It's a program that New York City has proven doesn't work. And for upstate New York, we have hundreds of thousands of people leaving upstate and western New York every year. There's plenty enough open properties and apartments for people that want to, you know, access a place to stay or live. Assemblyman John says it could undercut developers. I've gotten a lot of calls already by uh, from developers and real estate uh, people that are interested in rehabbing and upgrading real estate. They're not willing to take the chance to put out money out of their own pockets for basically little or no return. At the state capitol, Karina Capabianca. And Governor Andrew Cuomo applauded the bill and has already signed it into law.